This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. Very gentle. I'm Marcia Joyner. So tell me, Muse, of that plant of many resources which wander far and wide, the ancient plant of food, fuel, fiber, cultivated for millennia. So as we venture through the past 10,000 years, we will explore and discover the plant from which cannabis derives and the many uses of the plant. Hemp, cannabis, hashes, cannabis and religion, cannabis and medicine, cannabis and dear Uncle Sam. And so our odyssey today begins not long ago and far away, but at the swap meet. How's that? And we are visiting on the phone with um, Deborah Johnson, and her brand, her company name is Mama D's. Hi, there she is, Mama D's, and she sells CBD products. And her, um, so, Deborah. Yes. Oh, good. She's got customers, so we will hear all the people in the background at the swap meet. And it, this yes. is just wonderful that we get to travel all over different places to meet different people. So Deborah has what she calls soap made. Soap made, is that it? Soap by yes. Mama D. Soap by Mama. So tell us, what do you create? Wow, we have a bunch of the things that we do here. We have soap, lotion, we have our eileen butter, we have a Kung Fu healing salt. We also have the activated charcoal facial scrub, toothpaste, and the activated charcoal soap. So we've got a multitude of things here. So you, so you go out to the swap meet. Which one? Which We're swap at meet? Aloha Stadium. At Aloha Stadium. We're at Aloha, yes. And that's every Wednesday? Uh, the swap meet is on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, so so people come to you. <laughs> they do, they do. Um, and we have a lot of repeat customers. We actually hold the title of Hawaii's Best Kept Secret because those that know about us, they they come to us, they're diligent about coming here and getting their products. And a lot of times they'll call and say, hey, Mama D, where are you at today? Because they know we're set up somewhere on the island, you know, distributing and getting our product out there. So they do come out here to the swap meet to us and find this as well. So now you have, in each of these, you have some CBD, which is what makes it different from just uh, any other skin preparation or toothpaste or whatever you have. So tell us yeah. about the ingredient of CBD in your product. What what does that do for the product? Oh, it does a lot. It's incredibly effective as far as the product itself is concerned. Um, I do want to let you know that we, we have some people that are military and they opt out of using that particular product for other reasons. So we do carry both products. We carry CBD products and we carry regular products. Um, however, back to the CBD, it's incredibly effective because let's give an example. For example, people that have ailments, a lot of times they'll get salves or healing powders or different things and they rub it on, they do this, they do that. Well, we have all of those as well. Um, sometimes with our bath bomb, if you think about it, taking a bath bomb that contains CBD and putting it in your water and you sit in there and you soak, it removes all of your ailments. It's, it's <laughs> different than just rubbing a healing salve on one little spot or something. By having that in your bath water, you're actually soaking in something that is going to release so many different elements. But now you mentioned the military. CBD doesn't have THC in it, so they don't get a dirty pee test. What's, what's the issue? It doesn't. 
the issue is that they're paranoid. Oh. You know, they haven't done their research. A lot of them haven't done their research. And, you know, when I try to explain to them, you know, the difference between it, they say, no, I just want to stay on the safe side and I don't want to use it. So the more we get the word out, the more research we do and spread the word to the people, then that lifts a little bit of the paranoia that people have about being tested at work and stuff. So it's very important. Things like this show is what makes, you know, the word get out there so that they get the proper understanding of it. Yeah, well, that's the nature of the show is education so that people do understand the difference in CBD and THC. Said so while they right. come from the same plant, they are different in their <laughs> chemical makeup. Uh, yes, the cannabis absolutely. is a flower and it flowers, and the THC is, deriv is a derivative, but it doesn't have the THC that makes you high. And it won't right, give you a dirty exactly. pee test. So, uh, <laughs> you know. so, hopefully, if they're listening, they hear that. <laughs> and and so it and it's still a hundred percent effective even without the the THC. So yes, it is. So tell me about Deborah. Where are you from? Or originally? I grew up in, in Toronto. Original, Did you say Toronto? Yes. Yes, I grew up in Toronto, and um, as a young adult, uh, actually in high school, we moved to the American side, Niagara Falls, and then from Niagara Falls, my parents migrated to Florida. So yeah, I went to college it, in Niagara Florida. Niagara Falls is cold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, and now I'm where there's no cold here in Hawaii. So where did you learn about creating these products? How did you learn? You said you went to college in in Florida. I did, and my major, I was a biology major. I studied biology and forensic science. Um, I've always been the inquisitive type. Even at the age of 13, I would be told to hush because I'm asking too many questions. <laughs> and, um, you know, <laughs> curiosity just peeped in. You know, I'm like, okay, I, a lot of times when things are banned or they, people say, well, that's not good for you, me with my inquisitiveness, I have to research it and find out, okay, why are they saying this is not good for you? Why are people against it? Why are they trying to ban it? And then in my research, I find out, oh my gosh, it re actually really is good for you. You know, so I, I don't know whether it's a control factor on trying to ban things or what it is, but I come to find out that the very thing that everyone says is no good for you is quite the opposite. So you learned then as a apothecarist just apoth pronounce the word so I get it right. Apothecary. Apothe yes, apothecary. And so you learned then how to create and make these different products. That is true. I learned how to create and formulate and um, like I said, my natural inquisitive and, and, you know, just wanting to know stuff. I delve into a subject or, or a product or something and I just keep going and keep going and then when I find something related to it then I have to get information on that and it, uh, it might be a condition that I have but I just need to check things out. I'm one of those people where they said don't believe me check it out. You know I, I also tell my clients that as well. When I give them information on a product you're welcome. When I give them information on a product I tell them I say you know don't believe me check it out yourself because then that allows people to get even more information on it. So uh, so other than soaps and what did you say about uh, skin care? What, what all do you have with skin care? We have, we have a comfort healing style. A comfort and healing? Comfort, did you say comfort? comfort. Go ahead. Yes, comfort. C-O-M-F-R-E-Y, comfort. Oh, comfort. Comfort is, yeah, it's a very powerful, powerful herb. And comfrey was actually banned by the United States in the 60s. They lifted the ban somewhere around the 80s, if I'm, you know, if I recollect correctly. I know Australia just recently lifted their ban on it. But comfrey heals broken bones, torn ligaments, bumps, mm. bruises, arthritis. There's a long list of things, and on a daily basis, I'm actually finding out more things that it heal. 
in our comfrey, we actually have St. John's Ward horse mean, horse tail mean, marshmallow calendula. We have two separate batches. We have one that contains the CBD for additional healing, and then we have one that is plain for people that choose not to use it. Well, how does it, what, what do you do? How does it, do you bathe in it? Do you rub it on? Do you ingest it? What, what do you do with it? It is a salve. Oh, and, so you um, rub it. In this salve, yes, you take it and you rub it on. Uh-huh. And, um, but you don't ingest anything. You just rub it on the sore spot. Is that it? Yes. You just rub it. You got twisted ankle, broken bones, burns, any of that. It actually superimposes the healing of it. It takes the pain, especially the one with the CBD. You know, it takes right. the pain away. It, it, it heals really, really quick. It's a healthy heal. You don't get any bruising or scarring or anything like that. And my clients love it. I've got tons of reviews online um, on my Etsy page and other places about how well the country has done for them. And everybody spreads the word. However, we do have something, one product, that I'm really, really proud of. Um, this product was a long time in the making, and, you know, I, I would have to say that it is probably our number one product, and that would be our island butter. Oh, island butter. Tell me about island butter. Well, as we all know that the ocean um, is full of, coral reef and fish, and they are all in danger of, um, not just in danger, they are being harmed. Um, they're not reproducing like they should, and the ones that are in there are dying off because of the sunscreen that is in the ocean. Um, a few articles that I read, actually some recent articles that I read, said that there's about 8 million tons of sunscreen in the ocean, oh. and because of that, yeah, and because of that, it is actually bleaching the coral reef. It is changing the levels of the water. It's killing off the fish. It's stopping the new baby coral reefs from growing. So, you know, um, we came up with our island butter. It is a natural sunscreen. Um, we say it's edible because of the properties in it. We don't tell you that so that you can eat it, but we tell you that <laughs> to let you know it's safe. <laughs> Because our motto is don't put anything on the outside of your body that you won't put on the inside. Now, that's so, a good uh, idea. It, that's it, a great yes, idea. Ma well, let yeah. me, maybe let's do this. Let's take a break because we have to take a minute break. And when we come back, okay. uh, Deborah, tell us more about the island butter because uh, that's exciting. That is really exciting. I am one of those that has okay. been totally against copper tone. If you've been to Waikiki and you walk along, you can smell the ocean smells like copper tone. So right. I want to take a break. And when we come back, tell us more about the island butter. Okay, we'll be right back. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. I'm Marcia okay. Joyner, and this is Cannabis Chronicles, mm -hmm. and we are visiting with Deborah at, at Mama D's, and she uh, is at the Swamp Mead, and okay. uh, she is visiting with a paying customer, and paying customers always come first. <laughs> but <laughs> we, yes, the customer's gone right now. Uh, 
We were talking about island butter. Is that the right? Is that what it's called? Yes. Island butter. So yes. I am thrilled to think that there is a product that can be used that is water soluble and you can protect your skin from the sun and not damage the coral. So tell us more yeah. about it. Okay, and um, so so basically, you know, with that um, previous to me telling you about that, I was saying that our motto is if you won't put it on the inside of your body, don't put it on the outside. You need to think about the sunscreen that you're using, is it safe? Because if it's killing the coral reef and it's killing the fish, imagine what it's doing to you. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're you're human just like they are. Um, you know, the other thing is we actually have a bill that is on the floor. Um, I think Maui's bill went into effect before Oahu, but our senator has actually put a bill on the floor that says he's trying to keep tourists and locals from using, you know, the sunscreen that contains certain harmful chemicals because of the coral reef places like Hawaii, we're suffering a whole lot more than places in the mainland, um, and our waters are being destroyed. So, um, now we can just uh, come to the swap meet to yeah. meet you, or you have uh, another address, another place, or we get it at, on Etsy, which, which is a better way to do this, because I have got, well, I don't, I don't, put suntan lotion because I haven't been to the beach in ages. <laughs> but, no, I want some. Yeah, well, I want some. I think this is this is groundbreaking. This is newsworthy that there is a product, local product, that can be used as much as you want and it protects, won't damage the coral. I, I'm just thrilled to death with the idea that this exists. Yes. Well, actually, you can catch me at the swap meets on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're normally in Section 3 or 2. You can walk around. You'll see the big sign that says Mama D Soap Butters and Lotion. Um, extra added benefits. Also, um, before I tell you the extra added benefits, our um, brick-and-mortar location is 500 Alakawa Street. We're downtown by Costco, Home Depot, and Best Buy. We are actually inside the self-storage unit. Uh -huh. You can always give us a call and find out where we are because every day we're somewhere on the island getting our product out there. So the, with the island, so with the I'm telephone sorry, number, ahead. the telephone number is 808-866-6641. Is that correct? That is correct. That's and I want to just real briefly go through some extra added benefits of the Island Butter. We okay. have lactating women that use it as a nipple cream. We have people that love to put it on their children because their children are not at the beach, but they're outside playing. playing. And they yes. want to know that their children are protected. You know, so it has many, many uses. Um, it helps with the elasticity of your skin. So the benefits of it are, like, humongous. So, yes. So, now... Is it giving away a secret if you tell us what's? I know CBD is in it, but if we, or are you giving away a trade secret? You don't have to. <laughs> you don't, yes, yeah. I, we we do have our little secrets, and okay, that's what we makes won't our, we won't go there. And, <laughs> that, that's what makes our stand out from everyone else's. And like I said, this has been a long time in the making. And right now, we can go to an event like we did Mili Kalikimaka at the Blaze Sale, and we did about 250 to 300 of them per day that we sold because, again, we're Hawaii's best kept secret. Those that know about us. They're faithful in patronizing us. Those that don't, you know, everybody wants to know. Well, now, if you go to your Etsy store, how does, how does uh -huh. that work? How do, Basically, you would go to Etsy. That's E-S-T-Y, Etsy.com. You would click on the search bar, and you would type in by, B-Y, Mama D, M-A-M-A, -M -A, 
D, and it will bring up my page. And we have our island butter on there. We have our comfrey healing salve. We also have some of our soap and our activated charcoal and things on there. Um, we do have some people that, you know, don't like using computers. So I even have people that are text the phone number that I gave you, and they'll say, hey, I need some. My address is... And we send an invoice to their email. They pay on the invoice that we send to the email. We drop it in the mail and send it to them right here on the island. Wonderful. So if you know, if you already know what you want, you don't have to come to the swap meet or to the store. You can just email you and you will send it back. Is that? Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Yes, ma'am. And the shipping is only about $2 for a jar of it. Great. And you're right, this is Hawaii's best kept secret. <laughs> it really is. Yes. Well, thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm really, because I am one of those that's been campaigning against the uh, suntan lotion, A, because you can smell it all over the beach. Waikiki smells like mm -hmm. copper tone. And Copper yes. Tone <laughs> is owned by Bear, and Bear just bought Monsanto, so you really know all of the crap that they do. Uh, exactly, exactly. And so it's grand to know that there is an alternative out there, because you do need to protect your skin from the sun. There's, there's no question about that. Right. And this is yes, just, absolutely. just marvelous. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I'm I'm hawking. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> That's but, okay. I appreciate you. But you now know, we, I think that we've we been need, trying to get the We need to save the planet. We need to save the coral. Without the coral, Hawaii is nothing. Without the that is it. If it dies, we all do. And we need to save it. And I am just thrilled that you have come up with right. a product that won't Thank damage. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully everybody can look up the bill that the Senate has on the floor right now um, about Hawaii banning sunburn, sunscreen lotions and different things of the sort. You get a chance, go on there and look it up. Um, like I said, I think it's going to be passed in Maui first, but, you know, we, we really need to take a look at that and do what we can to help get that bill passed. Okay. I will definitely look for it. And it's, it's just really exciting. And to see, well, uh, to see cannabis used in so many, not cannabis, but CBD used in so many ways uh, that we didn't think of before. All we thought of is that it's dangerous and don't do it and what have you. And now to discover the many, not just you, but so many of our people that have been on the show and all the wonderful things they're doing with CBD, this is really exciting. So tell me real right. about the other products. You, uh, uh, we, we have facial soaps as well. We have baby soaps. Of course, we don't put any CBD in the baby soaps, but we have um, baby soaps that are all organic. We don't put any water or anything in it. We actually, we actually um, put, we take um, alloy, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking to a customer. We take alloy and we put um, oatmeal and we put lavender and we put chamomile in it, and it's very good. We also have our triple X soap, which has the hemp oil, the hemp powder, the hemp seed. And like I said, everything's organic. It's all handmade. So, um, you know, if you have any questions, like I said, you can go on our Instagram. All of our products are on there. We have shampoo. We have hair conditioner, healing salve. We have lip butter. And we and and the lip butter has you know we have uh, CBD infused lip butter as well. So now, do you on how much CBD is in each product? Does it matter how no. much, or is it five milligrams, ten milligrams? What or does it vary from product to product? <laughs> it varies from product to product because we put it in the big batch as we make the batch. And then, you know, and then we seal it off into smaller proportions. So that, so it starts out a lot and then, so in, yes. on, on your labeling. And, and as, Hello. Yes, and as we divvy it up, then it, you know, but each bar we, we put like, you know, enough to do what it needs to do in there. We, we try not to give off the levels and stuff like no, that because, okay. you know, we just, 
Yeah, but, but uh, we um, it's good stuff. We have a lot of repeat customers, customers that said it healed them and it, it works great for them. So this, so you actually make this yourself. You don't. Yes, you, we make everything from scratch. Mm -hmm. We make everything from scratch. We do a lot of juicing and blending. And so everything is custom made. Oh yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> that, I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. No, no, no. I'm saying that everything is handmade or custom made. You do it yourself. On you have a. We do it our. We have you have a factory yes, we, of some kind. We do have a, uh, um, a shop that we make everything at. Um, we do use a lot. People know when they purchase product from us that they're actually helping the farmers. We have farmers that bring us spinach, kale, papaya, whatever they can, and we sit there, we juice it, we blend it, and we put it in the soap. So everything is, like, really, really handmade. All natural feels good on your skin. The water repels up your skin when you use it, and... It's just good stuff. Um, when so, we give out the free samples, a lot of people will get the free sample and they come back and they say, oh, that felt so good. Well, so now you mentioned the local farmers. So they bring you products that you incorporate in your product. Is that it? Yes. Yes, they do. That is where we get our spinach and kale and papaya and other stuff that we put in the product. We get it from the local farmers. Oh, wonderful. So everybody, it's, it's, it's well, that's great. That's great, mm -hmm. and so that's. But the farmers are just here on Oahu. You don't. Get yes. Too much no. Trouble. We, we, the only thing we get off the island that is in Hawaii is our honey. We get our honey from Big Island, but all the other stuff we use the farmers here on Oahu. And the honey, does it taste different depending on where it comes from? Yes, it does. <laughs> So, so you like the the Big Island honey? Yes, we do. That's great. That <laughs> well, tell us real quick mm -hmm. the charcoal. What's the charcoal for? Activated charcoal it detox and it purifies. Um, if you get poisoned and go to hospital, the first thing they do is give you activated charcoal. Um, your water filter contains it. Your fish tank contains it. Uh, it, it the molecule itself. The charcoal we use is a pharmaceutical grade. We actually put 10% um, in all of our products, and it just goes out. It grabs any toxins or anything that's in your body that does not need to be there. Your body itself does not hold activated charcoal. So once that molecule um, that has a little hole in the top of it, once that hole, that puka fills up with the toxin, it expels itself out of your body. I have to try some. <laughs> yeah, it's activated really good. charcoal. With the yeah, the activated charcoal, you see results the first time you use it. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, well, listen, my dear, this has been a real pleasure visiting with you. And I promise you, I will come out and visit and see the real thing. So, thank you again for being with us. And uh -huh. aloha, and aloha. keep doing what you're doing, and come visit with Thank us again. Thank you so much. Yes, we appreciate it. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Aloha. Uh-huh. Aloha.